Good morning, it's 9.24 and we're downstairs getting Aubrey some breakfast. Um, I got one of these um, cinnamon waffle things here. Ooh, do they smell good, that's for sure. And then we get her some chocolate milk. I got your food here. Let me get your chocolate milk. You want me this? You want me to put syrup on it? Yeah. Okay. And it's easier to put syrup on. Okay. Easier to put syrup. There. Yeah, put it over there because mommy was tripping on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it all broken? No. On the side to ease your food. Yeah, okay, hold on, Mommy, we'll do your waffle here. You know, we're not supposed to have syrup with these, but she wants it, so. I might, like, break them apart again if she's gonna use a fork. Yeah. Mom, she's breaking it apart. So I have to get dressed soon. Yeah. Because I have this appointment at 11 o'clock. And then I don't know what we're going to do till 3 o'clock. But she has an appointment at 3 o'clock. Here you go. Take your milk. Be careful we won't drop it. Okay, guys. So... Ooh. Oh my goodness. So, no coffee, no food, nothing till noontime for me, which is gonna be like, ugh. But I ate late last night, and that's what happens when I eat late. That's why Friday nights when I go with my dad, I normally eat before he gets me, so I don't have to worry about, like, about that because like um hold on one moment because um I was gonna have um one of these strawberry lemonades and that shouldn't kick me out of ketosis that shouldn't, but um, ah, oh, itch. But yeah, guys. So since I ate at like seven o'clock last night, sixteen hours from that is like twelve o'clock. So I'm gonna have to like keep myself occupied, do whatever, get myself dressed, get everything ready for today. Maybe do some party stuff to keep myself occupied. And then after the dentist, my mouth will be numb, so I can't eat anyways. <laughs> but um. I know usually people say to drink like black coffee and water when you're in intermediate fasting, but I cannot drink black coffee. Even if I add like a sweetener to it, uh-uh, like I cannot do it. I cannot do it. So I don't know what I'm gonna eat at noon time. I might bring like a, um, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Cause if I'm, if I'm out with my mom, then I don't know what I'm gonna do, but. Well, guys, I'm going to get her situated, put some TV on for her. I'm going to ask, I'm going to message Angel right now and see if it's okay for me to drink this. Or do I need to wait till after 12 to drink something like this, too? Because it does have, like, the only thing that it has in it is, like, sodium. So, I don't know if that would interfere with my intermediate fasting. So, um, I have to see about that. But I'm going to go, go over here and get her stuff ready for her. And I'll see you guys afterwards. Hey guys, I'm back from the dentist, making some mac and cheese. Ow, oh, I need to give myself another paper cut. Ow. Oh. Can you talk to this way? Wait a minute, let me Can put your mac and cheese in. Me? In a minute, in a minute. Talk to this? Yes, let me put your mac and cheese in.
is the packet. There's the packet. Okay, guys. Oh. Yeah, I'm just gonna make her some mac and cheese. My mom, my mouth is numb. <laughs> but, um, I'm just gonna make some mac and cheese for her. My mom's coming into what? I don't like my grandma. She makes me sick. No, my mom was trying to get her to get out of the car. My mom got her ice cream from McDonald's. And she dropped the thing on the floor. And we, my mom told her to pick it up. So she wasn't happy how she said, told her to pick it up. You know how kids are. <laughs> so I'm going to let that cook. And of course, she's watching Freddy. <laughs> okay. Uh, so I eat my usual breakfast that I always have. My mouth is like, look at that. <laughs> but um, I have my coffee. And I'm just making her some mac and cheese this kind right here oh is it good you guys the deluxe the deluxe mac and cheese which of course is good anything like that is good uh -huh. so yeah guys it's one o'clock now and um, I just had my first meal for today because I ate late last night, so I had to wait till one till twelve o'clock to eat. But I wasn't out of the dentist till, till like twelve thirty, twelve thirty five. So I couldn't eat until I got home. So it's just now one o'clock, and I'm gonna make her some mac and cheese. My mom's coming for two o'clock, so we have an hour because my daughter's appointment's at three o'clock for her physical. So. Yeah, you're watching Freddy Krueger, yeah? And I just was in the kitchen making some um, some more hot coffee for my jug that I put in the fridge for iced coffee. So I have the cord here. I have to be careful coming over here so I don't trip on it. That would be a complete big mess if I were to trip on that. Huge mess. Huge, huge, huge mess. I hope everybody's having a good Friday. Oh, gotta try to do this without it spilling. I was gonna have a hot coffee today, you guys, but I ran out of, of the, um, I ran out of the, powdered creamer so I'll get some of that tonight when I go with my dad but for now I'm just having iced coffee iced coffee is good too so that should be good enough oh goodness let that cool off there it's hot but yeah guys um so I have an hour before my mom comes Probably gonna go fix my hair. I just brushed it before I left and didn't even do anything to it because when you're sitting there in the thing, you can't really have a clip in your hair. So I think I'm gonna go fi fix up my hair. Um, me and Aubrey are matching today. I'm wearing this dress. This dress right here. And Aubrey has one just like it on. So I'm, I'll take a picture when we get to the doctor's because last year at this time, I took a picture of me and her in the same dress. At, at her doctor's so I'm gonna do the same thing again today and just see like the difference I'll, I'll post it in the video for you guys to see but yeah so I want to say one thing my video that I made last night that will be my last video that I ever make about that person because I'm gonna I want to start growing my ch my channel for stuff for my daughter too like um starting September 6th she goes back to school so you guys will be seeing weekly what I like lunch videos of, from, for her and then I'm gonna be doing a video I think I'm gonna do it probably 
I'm going to have to probably do it tonight after my daughter goes to bed. But I'm going to do a video of all her supplies for her party, which I have it here at the house. So that's why I'm thinking about doing it tonight. And then tomorrow she's going to group. So I have to pack up her lunch for group tomorrow. And um, I can't get into the hall tomorrow until like at night time. So I don't even know if I'm going to be able to go. So I'm going to have to like rush around Sunday and do everything Sunday, which is going to suck. So, yeah, I'm going to have to do that, rush around Sunday and do everything. I kind of wish that I didn't get the helium tank now. I kind of wish that I was going to pick up balloons because now I have to, like, decorate. I have to blow up balloons. I have to go get the cake for 12 o'clock. It's like, oh, my God. And, yeah, so my stepfather, he left to go to um, Vermont to see his mom because they have, like, a reunion every year. And he, he'll be coming back tomorrow night at, like, he's leaving tomorrow night at midnight so that he's home in time for Aubrey's party. But, um, he'll be, he's the one who's going to be, like, bringing me around to help me to do this, do this stuff. So hopefully he's good with tying balloons because I'm not. Hold on a minute, you guys. I have to throw this out. Yeah, I'll be right there. Sorry, guys. I just had to empty the, um the coffee ground thing in here there was one time when I left it in there for I think it was like two days a day or two hold on I'm sorry guys drink the stuff off or you don't put your hands in it for the ice drink it too you're gonna spill it drink it Sorry about that, guys. I'm just putting it back up here. I'm gonna go check on her noodles now. Drink this stuff too, Aubrey, okay? Where's the cover? <gasps> oh, goodness. You can tell I'm not paying attention over here. Oh, my God. I started to overflow here. Be careful that you don't have the cover on it. Why don't you put some down so you can eat it with your with your food? I mean, so you can drink it with your food. Okay, guys, well, I gotta make her mac and cheese here, and I'll see you guys right after. Okay, guys, I got Aubrey's food. She's eating her food. I'm just gonna make, um, I'm gonna make the sloppy joes now and let it cool off and just put it in the fridge, heat it up later on, because I'm not gonna have enough time when I get back from my daughter's physical to actually cook all this and then eat it in time to go with my dad. So I'm gonna cook it now, and then I'm going to, like I said, leave it in the container and then just heat it up when I get home. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, I'm just putting the seasonings on it now. Heat this meat up, and then I'm gonna add the stuff that Angel said to, to add to it. Let's go cook it up now. I'm gonna do one more thing. Just add one more thing to it. Okay, now let's go cook it up. Mom's coming for 2 o'clock and it's 1.15. So I have plenty of time to do what I got to do. Yeah, in a second. Please. Hold on. Please. Okay, guys, I'm going to cook this up and I'll see you right after. My goodness, look at all this stuff. Hey guys, I'm home from going out with my dad. I'm so sorry I haven't updated you guys. I've been busy with, I was busy with Aubrey. We went to her doctor's appointment for her physical at three o'clock. 
Oh, guys. And then, um, so yeah, we went to her physical at three o'clock. Then I left there, went to Price Chopper to um, just put some stuff away here. Went to Price Chopper to get bread. Um, then I came home and my dad picked my dad picked me up, and we went to. Um, God, I wish I wouldn't have left my phone in the car to charge because I didn't get a picture. But um, I went to this wings place with my dad. I got a um, six piece of lemon pepper wings is what I got for dinner. So I didn't end up getting a picture of it, but I'm going to make a little video to add to my other video for the day so that people know what I got, even though I have like no proof of it. But Goodness, I'm running around like a maniac trying to put stuff away before Aubrey gets home. But yeah, guys, um, I just put the stuff in the freezer that needs to go in the freezer. Oh, got some meat here that has to go in the freezer. But you guys, yeah, so I've just been busy. That's why I haven't updated you guys at all. Um, my mom has to work tonight at 11 o'clock, so I don't get the Friday to myself just because my mom has to work. So Aubrey's coming home. I have to um, put her to bed. Then I am going to, oh, hopefully all this is going to fit in here like this. Make sure this shuts right. Okay. Um, yeah, guys, so let me just put this stuff away real quick, and I'll come right back to update you guys about stuff. But I want to make sure I get this all put away before she gets home. Hi guys, it's 1040 and I am just sitting here doing my daily stuff on my laptop. Um, Aubrey came home at like 940. Um, she's been in like pain from her shots today. She got two shots today. But I guess the way her, her doctor's office says it now is like, there's she got four total vaccinations. But there were like two and two in, the, in one shot, I guess. So she really got four shots today, like four vaccinations, but two shots today. And that's what she needed to go to, to kindergarten. So, um, so her, I guess her legs had been sore and everything today. And everything. But yeah, she's in bed. And um, we're going to be getting up early because I'm going to, I think I'm going to make her, I'm going to make her, um, sorry guys, I'm going to make her, um, her lunch in the morning instead of tonight because if, since she's home and the lady's getting her tomorrow, then that means like, I ha I can get up early and make it tomorrow so it'll be like a fresh lunch instead of doing it tonight because, Normally, I would, like, do it tonight and then give it to my mom and everything like that so she could bring her. But this week, um, the lady who's been, like, who's going to be seeing her is, um, is the one who's going to be picking her up and bringing her. So, um, I'll just give it to her them when they, like, give it to her when they go and everything. Yeah, so. Just entering into a giveaway here, you guys. Guess I'm done with that. But, so, yeah, guys, I'm sorry I haven't vlogged much today. Just been busy with doing stuff with Aubrey. And then we had my appointment and her appointment. Then I went out with my dad because it's Friday. So i just been busy. Okay, so I'm going to tell you about this thing that happened to me today, you guys. Okay. There was one thing that I shouldn't have done that I did do, though. <laughs> so I went to Price Chopper 
to get um bread for Aubrey because they usually have a buy one get one free thing with the with the Italian bread and that's what Aubrey eats is for Italian bread. So there's a lady there who usually does like samples on the weekends. So she's standing there talking to this older lady, talking about how much she can't stand Trump, and now he's like causing all this these riots and all this type of stuff. Now I should have just walked away. <laughs> But I was like, um, no, um, it's Maxine Waters who's telling them to cause all that, okay? Because sometimes, like, obviously, I've never been in a situation where I've heard people have been to talking about Trump. So I've never had the situation to actually be around that. But I wanted to, I wanted to say, um, n so I said to him, I'm like, no, ma'am, um, that's Maxine Waters who's doing that. So the other lady that she was talking to walked away, and this lady started talking to me. And she's like, no, 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 no. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> so me and her were basically talking about it. And I obviously wasn't rude to her because she was a random person. So I'm not going to like lash out at her and be rude to her. But you guys can tell she was a 100% dumb liberal. Like, oh my God. And this lady was telling me, she's like, because I was telling her the things that I like about Trump. I like how he's pro-life. And, um, I like how he's gotten more jobs for everybody and stuff like that. And when I mentioned the pro-life thing, she was saying how it shouldn't be up to me or anybody else. Now, I understand that I, like, I get social security disability. So I understand that my money comes from people who work. Like, I understand that. But, she, but she, um, people who get, go to Planned Parenthood and get abortions... Their money basically comes from from the funding too, because even though they do more than just abortions there, the federal government gives them money every every year or whatever gives them money. They use it towards whatever they use it towards at their clinics. Okay, so obviously that money is going towards abortions because if if you don't have health insurance, if you don't have any of that, then that's what covers your abortions. Okay, so she was saying how like. And I was like, well, I, people can have, choose whatever they want, but I feel like it shouldn't be, I feel like people who don't support it shouldn't have to pay for it. And then she was saying how, like, it's crazy with all these, like, people who have special needs out there. Like, she gets, she feels so bad for those people. And it's crazy how people have kids with, like, special needs and all that. And then she was saying how, like, People need to think with their minds and not with their hearts. And from there, I wanted to just, like, say, bitch, you're crazy. But obviously, I didn't. And then we were going on and on about other things. And then the last thing that we said to each other is she's like, well, she did ask me if I was racist at one time. And I said no. And then the last thing that, like, we said to each other was she's like, well, do you think healthcare should be, like, a privilege or for everybody I said I think it should be for everybody but I said I don't think it should be the way Canada has it and I don't like Bernie Sanders and of course she didn't like that <laughs> oh my god you guys so I went in there just to get bread and then I did my last thing of, of wick for my for my milk and I like shouldn't even have stopped her when I heard her say that I should just kept walking because then I was in the store for like 15 minutes with her just like jabbing at me. And I'm like, okay, lady, whatever, whatever, whatever. <laughs> like I was just like going along with what she was saying just to like, just to, so she would like just stop talking. <laughs> but I shouldn't have even stopped in the first place. But it just aggravates me hearing people say things that, like obviously the Republicans and Democrats have their, have their own opinions with things. But she was telling me how, like, Bush left everything so bad for Obama, which he did. But then she's saying that, um, but then she's saying how, like, Obama left it completely, like, perfect for Trump. Like, everything was fine when Obama left. Yeah, no, we were, we were, we were in so much debt when Obama left. Like, what about the Iran deal, Iran, sorry, Iran deal? All this crap that Obama did when he was, like... And then, like, Obama's hometown is Chicago, okay? Chicago has the worst... Has the highest crime rate, okay? 
So for someone who's a president who should be do, working on stuff like that, why is his own hometown the highest crime rate? Like, seriously. And he got us more in debt. Like, Obama got us more in debt when, like, I guess when he started, he got some of the debt down that Bush did. But then he got, he got his own debt. After, like, by the time he left, he had his own debt. So then he left Trump with all that debt. So, of course, that lady's like, oh, no, oh, no, Obama left the good, Obama left the good. I'm like, oh, my God, lady. Uh. Uh-huh. But then I got out of there. I went home, and my dad was home, so I left with my dad. We went to the Wings Place downtown because I was going to come home and eat the food in my fridge, but the lady freaking kept yapping, so I didn't even have time for that. Uh. So we went to Wingstop. I got lemon pepper. Um, oh goodness, bug! I got lemon pepper wings, and I used a little bit of ranch with it. Um, cause I really can't have wings. Just whatever. I usually can have. So I had like a little thing of the ranch with it, and then I got a diet coke with it. So that's that's the last thing I've eat, I've eaten today. I didn't even have a snack today, guys. I had the egg whites with the two turkey sausage patties. Didn't have a snack at all. Then I had the wings for dinner because I ate at 12 o'clock today because I ate late last night. So I didn't even have a snack today. So I felt like that was like okay for, like I didn't, I didn't even eat that much today at all. So, and then from there we went to Walgreens, had to pick up Aubrey's medication. Then we went to Millbury to Home Goods. Oh, they have like, I'm going to have to wait till next month when I get my money. But, um, they have, like, Halloween pillowcases. Like, one of them has, like, um, spider webs. One of them has, like, pumpkins and stuff. And they were, like, seven ninety nine for, like, two pillowcases. Which, I don't know if that's good or not. Like, I don't really know. But I mainly went in there to see if they had any, any like, Ray Dunn Halloween stuff. And they didn't, but... That's the main reason why I basically went in there. And then we left from there and we went to Walmart. And I got a whole $190 worth of stuff at Walmart. I did a little haul, but I forgot to, like, add in that I got two cases of water. So I think I'm going to, like, make a note at the end of the video and say um, two cases of water were added to this, too. Like, one case I got to bring with me to the ha to the party... And then, um, one case is for me at home. I still need to pick up some ice. And then I gotta, um, borrow one of my mom's coolers to put, like, the ice in. I'm gonna leave the ice in the bag, but just keep it in the cooler. And then I'm gonna keep the juice boxes in the cooler with the ice. And then people couldn't, like, just grab ice and put it in their cup. Or I was thinking, like, I was talking to my daughter's Mimi... And she was telling me to, like, leave the bottles. Because I got bottled soda this year instead of the cans. And she was telling me that it was to just, like, leave the bottled soda on the table. And then, like, um, have people grab ice and put it in their cup. But I feel like I should just keep the whole bottles in the cooler with the ice. And then the, the drink will already be cold. And if they want ice, they can just grab ice. I I think I think that's probably what I'm gonna do. But I gotta get some coolers for my mom and my for my mom's house. They have like a bunch of coolers that I use. I usually use them every year for her party. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. But I'm just sitting here playing Best Fiends. <laughs> I don't even have my TV on, guys, because I've been just watching some stuff on YouTube. And I haven't really been online much today either, you guys. I haven't because I've been busy doing stuff, so I haven't really been online. Oh, yes, I beat the level. Oh, my goodness. I was looking at Scholastic Book, um, Scholastic Book Club. I really, 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 really hope her kindergarten teacher does scholastic. 
like I'll be like, can you please use glasses just for Aubrey? <laughs> like, please, please. Uh huh. I am on level one seventy nine on Best Fiends. Love this game. I played on my phone and I can play it on my laptop. So. I don't have much to do, guys. I just have to clean up the living room. Then I'm all set for the night. So tomorrow, I am going to make a, upload a video. We'll make, I'm going to make the video. I don't know if it's going to get uploaded right away. Showing, like, all of the, um, the supplies I have, like, decorations and everything for Aubrey's party. I always see people make videos like that. They just show, like, the birthday party supplies. So I think I'm going to make a video like that. I was going to do it now, but I'm like in my PJs and I look, I look like a mess. I'd rather wait until I'm like up and dressed and at least look like I'm not like a bum making the video. And then I would do like her back to school haul, but I don't have everything yet. So I have to wait to do that. I'll, I'll probably end up doing that like a couple of days before she starts school just because... I still have stuff that I need to get. And she doesn't go back until September 6th, you guys. So I still have like a whole month and six days <laughs> before then. So. But yeah. Yeah. So today I was like thinking about, I was looking through pictures and I was like, oh, I wish I had my dog with me. Like, cause I have an Australian shepherd, you guys. He's more of like a family dog. But when I was living at home, like I was the one who, who mainly gave him all the attention and everything like that. Like he'd always be with me. And obviously he's at my parents' house. So it's like, I barely see him. Like I usually see him when I go over to my mom's house for dinner on Sundays but we haven't gone the past two Sundays. So I haven't seen him. But I had to go get his pill yesterday. He takes like a heartworm pill every month. So I had to go pick that up yesterday for him. But. Oh, guys, I'm going to finish this one here, and then I'm going to clean up the living room and go to bed. So I will see you guys when I get upstairs. Hey, guys, well, it's almost 2 in the morning, so I'm going to go to bed. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.